This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello everyone, welcome. Hi viewers. In this video, we will discuss some more questions related to the chapter problem solving. We have discussed total 25 questions so far. Now we will start from the question number 36. The question is, dear viewers, what is meant by program maintenance? The answer is program maintenance is an ongoing process of upgrading the programs to accommodate new hardware or software requirements and introducing minor improvements essentially it is the expansion updating and improvement of a program after its installation, regular maintenance is essential to the continued program To the continued usefulness of a program, a proper maintenance depends on the existence of complete documentation. So this is a very important phase in problem solving skills because if you don't maintain your program after installation, you know, you can never meet the required results, the required the required output which you want actually from your program. Because the maintenance and updating is always, always an upgradation, is always, always very necessary requirement for program maintenance. And uh, proper maintenance is always there and you need to regularly maintain the program for its uh, better output and to gain gain the uh, maximum uh, benefit from it if you don't update and maintain your program then you can never be able to achieve the required results from that program so next question we will discuss today is question number 37 question is very important question what is meant by logic so we can define it as logic is a path which will guide the programmer to develop a program. It will also Reduce the time constraint in the future. Any error 
will crash the program and data stored. Next question, number 38, question is, write down the characteristics necessary for a set of instructions to qualify as an algorithm. The answer is in order to qualify as an algorithm a sequence of instructions must possess the following characteristics number one each and every instruction should be precise and clear number two each instruction should be performed in a finite time number three instructions should not be repeated infinitely and number four desired result should be obtained after the algorithm terminates so these are very important characters necessary to, for a set of instructions to qualify as an algorithm. The most important thing is that the number of steps should not be repeated and they, sh they should be in finite number of steps. They should not be infinite because we need to obtain a required result, required output for that. The step number of steps should be finite in order to achieve and obtain the required result. And the instruction to be precise and clear should be uh, according to the statements we use like print input begin and end these are all the necessary statements uh, key keywords reserve words or annotations you can call them which can be used as uh, for uh, uh, defining all the instructions we give to for an algorithm next question viewers number 39 and the question is what is meant by final output the answer is final output is the output taken from the computer after running the program which we made in any computer language Next question, last question. What are the types of documentation? Answer is there are two types of documentation which are as follows. Number one user documentation and number two
technical documentation so these are two types of documentations you should know about them so now in this video we have discussed total four questions of this chapter and then this chapter is ended now we will start next chapter so that's all video reviewers thanks for watching my video